Yo, what up guys, Six here, but you already know that, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe, because I do post daily content, maybe when I'm limited to anything, so just comment down your suggestions below on what you want me to play, because it's not about me, it's about us, like that, she's saying, do not forget to leave a like on this video, guys, alright, so, I'll give you guys five seconds to do so right now, and go. Thank you, see, it helped me out, and it helped y'all out, so... Today's video is going to be more NBA 2K17 news. And like I said, I'm sorry to be late on the train, but you know what I'm saying? It's better late than never, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, so let's talk about 2K17 animations. All right, so to our knowledge, what we know about 2K17 and what's coming out is that there's going to be some new animations. And it's going to be based off of the dances that have recently came out. So you already know that. I think of you that dance the running man dance that's definitely going to be on there that hit them folks definitely going to be on there the dab all that it's definitely going to be on there right now let's talk about how champ is going to be now if you don't know what champ is it's dmv slang or uh, i guess east coast slang i don't know uh and basically champ means stupid you know it's like somebody that doesn't look like they know what they're doing like if you hear a white person say the n-word they're champ you know stuff like that so and or like if somebody is trying to dab, like a white person trying to dab, they're, they're champ. That's what it is. All right. So basically, on 2K16, y'all seen the whip and the nay nay, all that stuff. Y'all seen all those dances, right? They looked stupid. They like they, they looked champ. They looked like somebody didn't know what they were doing and they just tried to do it. You know, it's like it's like, it's like your grandmother is trying to dab and she just looks stupid. She just looks retarded trying to do it. And that's what it looked like. Like if y'all seen the whip on the game, it's like they made you point. Like they they had you pointing out. And then they'll make your whole body swear. Like, it, that's stupid. Like, why can't they just do it normal? Like, they have black people in suits, in the little green screen suits, the special effects suits. Let them do their thing. Like, what? What? I don't understand. But they're going to be having A Dot. Now, if y'all know who A Dot is, B Dot, A Dot, that dude from Vine. I used to, I knew him before he started making all those, uh, all those little NBA animation things with James Harden and all that. I used to watch his vines uh, with his girl named Tina. I don't think he wear them with her no more though. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, he's gonna be there though. He's gonna be there. He's gonna be doing some animations. Uh, I guess it's gonna be some, you know, some celebrations like the one where it's a the James Harden bop, 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 the Euro step, and it's gonna be him throwing it up or something like that. You never know. You know, that's just gonna be celebrations for after you win the game of Park. All right. And, you know, the animations, hopefully they add some good animations. Like, if you're going to add the dab, make it look good. Don't make it look stupid. Please. Don't make don't make people freaking, like, do, like, the freaking water sprinkler and then dab into it. Like, don't make people do stupid stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't make people point out doing a whip and point out and make their whole body swerve like it's an ocean or something. Like, just make them do the whip. Like, don't make, don't make it complicated. Don't make it stupid. Make it look good. Like, come on now. But yeah, y'all. Now, some animations that they should not add. Oh my gosh! Don't add no don't add no more defensive animations. Please don't. Meaning, if I'm controlling somebody and if I'm guarding them, and then like they do a pump fake, don't make them automatically jump into it. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't even press Y. If anything, I'm holding the right stick up to do the little hand up and the air thing, right? And then they'll they'll pump fake, and then I'll jump right into them, and then they'll get a foul. Off of some fluke, like don't don't make them win the game off that. Don't I don't want that. That's stupid. Don't if if I don't jump, period. Don't make me jump. I don't the game should not be making me jump. All right, let's just put it at that. All right, take out all that cheese. All right, another cheese. Don't make it so that people can dribble directly into you. But if you try to cross over the ball and the ball hit them that time, it, the ball you lose the ball. But they'll be dribbling into you the whole time during a possession, and the ball they won't lose the ball not once. And also, stop making it so that people can panic and throw the ball out of a dang dunk. You know what I'm saying? I understand people going into the paint, making everybody jump, then passing the ball to the open man to drain that three, which are probably brick because you know how 2K be. But uh, I understand that. But don't make people go up for a dunk for like the most the worst dunk ever because everybody's ready to block it. And then they just pass it out and the person catches it. Like what? Not a time. If you're in real life and you're doing that, like you're ball hogging and you don't see nobody else around you and you just try to dunk, you, you know you're about to get blocked, so you just try to pass the ball like You're not going to know where nobody is at. You won't know. You know what I'm saying? So why why do that in the game? Also, stop it with the freaking, with, with all these animations where 
when, like, when you're passing the ball, right? When you pass the ball, and then like, you put your hand up, and if somebody is near you while your hand is being put up, the ball flies right over your head. Like, you'll be right in front of it, right? But somebody, all because somebody ran into you while you were trying to reach for the ball, the ball is just going to fly over you. What? And also... Don't st- don't make it so that people, whenever you make a pass down court, if you're farther than freaking the half court, you overthrow it. Nobody's ever going to overthrow a ball like that. Nobody. Nobody. No one. Who in, whoever. Like, I've seen in the playoffs so many times, somebody passing the ball down court, and they never overthrew it. Come on now, 2K. If you're making a basketball game, at least make it realistic. Please, also, give us more insight about these difficulties. Like, Hall of Fame, Superstar, which one is the most realistic, all right? Because I don't like playing on Hall of Fame simulation where every time somebody runs into the paint and pump fake, it's a foul. Or every time somebody go into the paint and go up for a layup, it's a foul. Hall of Fame default, that's good because there's, there's, there's no fouls, actually. There's really no fouls. But then you're breaking every three. You see what I'm saying? But with Superstar, you're making every wide open three, which is not bad at all. If you're wide open, you should drain that three. Or you should maybe miss one. You know, the thing what I'm trying to say is you shouldn't make a three every once in a while. You should miss a three every once in a while. But on 2K, I make a three every once in a while. In this my league, I have a 99 three-point Derrick Rose. Shoot that joint wide open. He breaks it every single time. Stop making jump shots broken as well. It's certain jump shot, certain jump shots in this game can do certain things. I have the Vince Carter jump shot on my other account. I shoot. Why do I break wide open? I shot like I shot zero for three for three games straight because I'm breaking wide open threes right on the line. Come on now. Speaking of that, if I'm shooting a shot and I get a green release, what is the point of a green release? Just to let you know, oh yeah, you held it down perfectly. Congratulations, but you're still gonna break this ball. What is the point of that? Like what? If I get a green release, make me make the ball. M- make me make the shot. Don't make me waste that. Like, what What? What the heck? That's like me entering an art project and I do everything perfectly. Well, congratulations. You made everything perfectly perfect. It was a masterpiece. You're a Picasso with the art. But guess what? You still lost the competition. What? But I did, you said I did everything perfect. It was better than everybody else's. What? You know what I'm saying? Don't practice makes perfect. You see what I'm saying? Practice makes perfect. So if you get a perfect green release, you should make that. That is practice. People don't just wake up and just automatically get greens with a jump shot. You have to practice until you get that jump shot down back. I know uh, I know Carmelo Anthony's jump shot like the back of my hand. I've been using this since 2K10 on, uh, on 2K. But I break. Every time I break because the jump shot is broken. And that's not that should not be allowed. Fix y'all game, please. But anyway, I'm sorry for that little rant about the problems with the game that they should be fixing, which they're not. They're not gonna fix that. They're just gonna add. They're gonna take out a few things, but then they're gonna add stuff even worse. You know what I'm saying? Like on 2K15, shooting was perfect there, but the cheese was terrible. The cross, left, right cheese. I can't even play 2K15 Park no more this day because it's ridiculous. It's filled with demigods and people cheesing, people holding their nuts underneath the underneath the basket and grabbing the rebound and going back out and not passing the ball, ball hugging, doing the dang side to side cheese until they shoot the ball and break a three or make it. You know what I'm saying? But in two K sixteen they took out the side to side cheese and made it so that you're gonna break every shot that's wide open. And you know, uh five seven point guards can dunk on everybody but a six ten small forward can't even finish over a five seven point guard. You see what I'm saying? Fix your game. But anyway, I'm sorry guys for that little rant. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you guys did not enjoy this video, comment below why you guys did not enjoy this video so I can try to fix my mistakes, you guys, and share this video around, y'all. Share this around with your mom, your dad, your grandpa, your grandma. Share this on Facebook. Share this on Twitter. Share this on Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. And my name is Shooks, and I will see you guys in the future. Peace.